Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Last time we <clears throat> were in Sentinel to do a quest for the main quest line. And this episode we're going to finish up that quest and do a bit of other things because this is going to be a pretty exciting episode because I've installed, well, three new mods, but I guess technically only two. Uh, the third thing that I've done is a change, but it's not an official mod. It's, it's within the settings of Daggerfall Unity. Uh, so we'll get to that in a sec. Um, but, well actually I guess we'll talk about that change right now, because I actually had to reload the save just a little bit before we talked to Prince Luden over here, because the setting I made a change to, I've talked about in other, other episodes, someone left a comment letting me know that you can go into the Daggerfall Unity settings file and enable something called Smaller Dungeons, which <clears throat> essentially just makes it so that the randomly generated dungeons, not the quest based from the main quest line dungeons, but the randomly generated ones are smaller, similar to Privateer's Hold, and I thought that would be something fun to try out. Uh, we don't necessarily have to keep it if, I don't, if we don't like it, but um, I wanted to try it out, and I know that there is a randomly generated quest in this quest, in this main quest, I believe. It's not it's not like a main quest dungeon, it, it's just a random one that you get sent to at some point during this quest. Uh, and I, I reloaded the save because my understanding is that you don't want there to be any active quests when you turn the setting on. So we'll activate the quest now, and then hopefully get to check out the smaller dungeon setting. So let's talk to Prince, Lu Prince Luden again. We already know what he says. Uh, basically, he had a brother, and he doesn't know what happened to him, and we have to figure out what happened. So we have to go get some info on what happened to his brother. Just around about his brother. Uh, and while we do that, uh, I'll have the opportunity to show you uh, the first... Oop, the first of the two mods I've installed, you'll notice uh, when I'm on this horse. Um, so some of you who are familiar with Daggerfall Unity mods, and hey, there's a Sky Shard, um, might know what mod this is. This is the Roleplay and Realism mod. And one of the changes it makes is, uh, well, it's a bunch of modules that do different things. One of the modules is better horse riding. So it's just, the, the view is better, and check this out. You can sprint, and if I sprint over someone, they'll die. So we want to be careful because we don't want to kill a random civilian. Uh, but let's grab this, uh, this sky shard here. Oh, I can't look down while I'm on, when I'm on the horse, so I'm gonna have to go on foot to grab it. Two more to increase my endurance, and there's two left in the region. Uh, we found that other one, uh, quite close to outside of the city. Let's, let's ask here about, let's see, people? Prince Luden. I guess I can tell you that way west. Oh, wait, no, we're looking for his brother. Where would I find that? Under general? Castle Sentinel? Tell me about... Oh, Recon. That's his brother, right? I heard that name somewhere. Got no idea where. Well, you're no help. Um, so yeah, this is one of the modules. This is probably the the best one, in my opinion, or the, or the most interesting one. Um, the other ones are, are smaller. I didn't enable all of them, because there are some that I, I, I didn't like. But most of them I enabled, so we'll talk about a few more of those later. Wasn't he the Scholar Prince? Well, apparently he was, but that doesn't really help me very much. Let's see people uh location tell me about recon it's none of your damn business well actually it is because the prince told me to figure out where he is so i'd say if any if, if it's anyone's business it would be mine jesus all right if we go to a tavern i feel like people would know what's going on at a tavern let's see so tavern straight to the west Oh, and one more feature about the horse riding is it, it will ch the when you go up and down places it will change your I believe it changes your speed, but also like how the the horse interacts with the terrain in some way. Um, this is the inn right here. Let's go in the inn and see if people know about the prince in here. I'm looking for someone that won't faint at the sight of blood, human blood. For eight hundred fifty-two gold, would you kill a man? Well. I'm a bit of an honorable person uh, in this playthrough, so sorry, uh, my friend. Uh, I'm not going to do that for you. Let's save the game, by the way. Um, let's see. General... Or no, Rechon, do you know anything? I'm afraid that means nothing to me. Why would you want to help me? I'm on the mission a mission from the prince, so... Oh, that's easy. Rechon came down with a fever and eventually died. Okay, interesting theory. Tell me about Retchon. Even if I knew something, I won't be telling a Nord. Alright, you don't like me either, I get it. Retchon like 
liked books more than swords, but it used to drive King Cameron crazy, but you may already know that. Yeah, I sort of knew that already, but thanks anyway. What time is it right now? 10, 14 a.m.? Damn, I want to show you all another feature, but I kind of want to wait for it to be nighttime before we do that. So let's head out. Where else can we go? Do we have, I think we have items to sell, right? We definitely have some. And we have some ingredients, so let's look for a weapon shop, an armor. He marked it on our map, perfect. What about this one? Southeast for that one. So, straight to the south, and there's a whole little square with shops, so we'll probably find most of what we need there. So we're heading that direction. Sprint with our horse. Let's see. There's a bookshop, a clothes shop. Do we have any clothes we need to sell? Um, I guess we want all these enchanted. Uh, we didn't figure out what this wrap did, does, did we? We could probably go do that at the Mages Guild. Um, we do need to sell our ingredients and our clothes, though. Here's an armor, and this is a good place to sell our items. So let's get rid of... We're holding out to this Dwarven Broadsword for any real reason. Let me see what's in my wagon real quick. Uh, mm, I mean, at some point we'll... Nah, I don't think we need it. We don't need it. Screw it. We'll get rid of it. Let's see. I was going to say, like, we want to keep something to enchant, because once you enchant something, I think you can't repair it. I think that's right. But we have a Mithril Longsword we can enchant, which is probably better than the Dwarven Broadsword. Um, okay, that's everything. Do you have anything I want to buy, though? No, of course not. There's really... It's not very often that you find things you actually want to buy uh, in this game. I'm not sure if that's something that maybe should be tweaked in a mod, but it seems like perhaps so. Oh, you're not, you're not the shopkeeper? Well, do you have anything to say about him? He was the only prince never to receive a public funeral. Okay, well, that's actually kind of interesting. Is this the person's bedroom? Uh, let's see. We definitely have ingredients in the wagon. Oh, wow. Something was very valuable. I don't know what it was, but... We're not an alchemist, so we don't need anything. And what else do we have that we want to get rid of? We have light sources. Uh, we'll keep the... Po uh, we don't really need potion recipes, but we'll keep them in there for now. Holy dagger. Oh, right. We can sell that at a pawn shop, which is right around here. Over here. We'll, we'll check this, uh, this guy's shop, though. See if there's anything we want to get. There's an ebony flail. Well, if you had an ebony die katana, maybe I'd consider it, but no thanks. What do you have to say about the person we're looking for? He was a prince of Sentinel. He died years ago. Thank you for that in-depth information, my man. Uh, we'll sell our holy dagger. See what you have for sale. Oil. I think that's we can use that for lanterns. So I think actually... Oh, do we select all of it? It's actually not expensive at all, so screw it. Let's get it. How much does it weigh? So it weighs quite a lot, but that's all of all 17 oils, I guess. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll put we'll put all of it. Can we not? I guess we have to like keep it all in one stack. Unless there's some thing I don't know. Can I use the oil? Oh, I refuel my lantern. I see. Okay, well we refuel the lantern that was out of oil. So let's put it into our wagon and then we can refuel the lanterns and we actually won't we need the torture candle anymore i guess we'll use those up first uh because since we have so much oil we can just keep refueling our lantern and i think the lanterns are just like the best light source anyway so um how much money do we have now four thousand we'll keep that for now because i want to go to the mages guild and identify that wrap that we got i think there should be one in this town right let's see mages guild um, Alright, they don't know. Let's save the game. We need to be careful not to run anyone over. I'm nervous now because I know we'll kill people if we sprint over them with our horse. Mages Guild. North. 
Ah, so it must be one of these two. So let's head in that direction. I do appreciate how the city was like a very distinct, different layout of, of the cities in this region compared to those of Daggerfall. Well, I guess I've only been to this one, but it definitely feels very different than Daggerfall. You know, one of the things that people sort of complain about when it comes to uh, this Elder Scrolls game is that there wasn't the attention to detail in later that there was in later games, but honestly, uh, of course there can't be. Wait, hold on, we have to loiter for a little bit. Of course, there can't be the level of attention to detail that there is in Daggerfall uh, and compared to something like Morrowind or Oblivion, but certainly uh, it's astonishing what they pulled off considering the size of, and scope of it all. Uh, save the game here, 350. And we need to find the, the identifier. Mm, yeah, I thought she might be make spells. What, what do you have for training? It costs a thousand. It's quite expensive, actually. You know what? Let's save the game and let's try it. Let's see what it is. I have lots of money. Oh, I can choose my training, can I? Well, I mean, mysticism, restoration and mysticism. You know what? Train for three hours. You know what? Let's train. Oh, I can only train one skill. Well, train that one. Oh, we we already talked to you. Yeah, all right. Now where do I find the identifier? We might as well put our money to good use and get training, right? Buy spells. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Cure poison? That could be useful. We do want restoration spells, so let's get it. Jack of Trades, Fortify Attribute Luck, Medusa's Gaze, Paralyze, Nimbleness. Um, these are the, like, uh, enchanting spells, but we'll get that later once we rank up in the Mages Guild. Um, right. Buy magic items. Well, I'll check out what you have, my friend. A Ring of Featherweight. What's this do? Slow Falling? Um, well, we don't always want to be slow falling. Leather gone, Gauntlets of Friendship. Charisma's cast. Uh, I like that. Unrestrainable Common Symbol. Cast when used. Free action. I still don't know what that does, so we'll leave that for now. Um, Dead Man's Tall Boots. Small Statue. What does that do? Iron will cause you a friendship. Uh, I do want some jewelry that's enchanted, but um, I don't want any of this, so sorry. Um, you're going to be make magic items. Okay, right. So where can I get someone who's going to identify things for me? I've already been there. Is that you? There we go. All right. I do have something for you, my friend. It's in the wagon, I guess. We know what these two things do. What does this do? The protector. Shield. Cast when used. It's one of the ones you have to use, which is annoying, but that could be useful, right? Now, can we actually wear that? Um, let me see. Can I wear that at the same time as whatever else I have on? Oh, I can. It's a wrap. Well, you know what? We might as well put it on, right? And now, where's the cast when used option? So we can cast, like, a protect a shield spell. I assume that just is useful for battle, right? Um, Okay. It is the late afternoon now, and we have very low mana and fatigue, so maybe we should sleep, and I can, we'll just sleep till the next day, and I can show you uh, another aspect to the roleplaying realism mod. I haven't even talked about one of the mods I have, mainly because I think I need to go to another region to show you, um, but I'm not sure. Um, we can, we can think about that tomorrow, though, for now. Let me see if I can show you how this works. Well, first, actually, let's actually buy a rune. And now we get free rooms in every single city, because we ranked up in the Knight's, uh, Knight's Order. Let's 
Right, where, where are your beds? Okay, here, let me show you. Let's save the game real quick. Let's see here. Look at that. You can click on beds to rest now, like in all the other games. That's nice, isn't it? Um, now it's the middle of the night, so now we want to rest for like nine hours till the daytime again. Eight in the morning. Yeah, might as well rest like two more hours. Okay. Let's ask around a little more. I think we've already asked these people, but we need to know about Rechon. My cousin told me something. He came down with a fever and eventually died. I think someone told me that. Ugh. None of your damn business. Okay. Rechon. This is all I know. Rechon like, like, liked, I assume they, mean, they meant to put here. Liked books more than swords. It used to drive King Hammer crazy. Right. We know these things. I think I might have already asked you all. Now. Haven't been able to get any useful information regarding this quest yet, but that's okay. Is there something I missed in the prompt that I meant to be doing? Um... Get me out of here. Here we go. Okay, it's daytime again. Let's ask around. I didn't know that, my friend. I didn't know that. Maybe I should have asked more of the nobles. Maybe they'd know. Even nobles know. Um, I wonder if I could, if there's somewhere nearby that I could potentially show you the other mod I installed. Let's, let's, uh, let me see. A thin rail of a woman steps forward and hands you a note. She turns aside all your questions with a gaunt, expressionless face. Alright, that could be useful. Letter, the beaver and badger in the pig and scorpion's pub of sentinel, unsigned. Dear Titian, if you are interested in learning the truth about Prin Prince Retchen, meet me at the beaver and badger in the pig and scorpion pub of sentinel, unsigned. Well, I am interested about learning the truth about Prince Retchen, so I will certainly uh, meet you there. Wait, the, the beaver and badger in the pig and scorpion pub of sentinel. So I assume it's like a location. Okay, let's save the game again. Um, wait, let me see. Where's my note? The pig and scorpion pub. Okay, okay. So is that somewhere? The pig and... Scorpion Pug. So it's an inn within a location, which is an inn. Very interesting. Good looking camel right there. Guess this is the only uh, the pub. So, so the pub, the location name is different from the pub name. That's just strange. Okay, we're looking for someone here. I doubt it's going to be you, is it? That's not certainly not going to be any of you. Mm, not going to be you. It could be you. My name is Razier. My master has asked me to find a brave adventurer for a dangerous mission. Uh, I, I am interested in your mission, my friend, but I'm kind of on another mission right now, so I'm going to have to deny it for now. I'm sorry. Now I'm kind of sad I turned that down. Maybe I should have taken it. We could do two quests at once, right? Okay, not you're certainly not the person we're looking for. Uh, should be somewhere here, right? Okay. Sure, is a lot to look look for here. Is it you? Here we go, Titian. Shh, I would prefer talk. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking with you. It has come to our attention that the Underking is being wrongly accused of abducting Prince Retchen. Okay. Before you judge, check into Castle Falem. I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. Now move away before anyone gets suspicious. Go on, Scram. Okay, awesome. So, it's time to go to this dungeon. And this is the dungeon part of the quest, I assume. So, this should be a good chance for us to check out how the smaller dungeons thing works. Or if it does work. So we're looking for Castle Fallen. Oh, it's on the island. And <clears throat> it's time to see if the smaller dungeons thing really does work. 
You come across an active keep known as Castle Fallen. From the smell alone, you can tell it's orcs. Suddenly, you see a group of orcs come from the keep. Oh, right. So, this is warm ashes. This sometimes happens when, uh... Oh, I'm one-shotting them now. Holy crap, I'm, I'm buff, buff as hell. The enemy is surprised by your prowess. They call for reinforcements. Yeah, this is a warm ashes uh, thing associated with keeps. Where you have to fight off a whole army, which is insane. I can't... Release the beast. The sound of metal rattles can be heard. One of the soldiers can be seen on top of a cage, releasing the latch on the door. Out the cage comes what seems to be tamed animals. Holy crap, that hurt a lot. Oh my gosh. 354, not 364. Are those gargoyles? What is that? This is absolutely nutty. Oh, Dragonling. It's the first I've seen of that enemy in this game. I am really strong, though. Send the general out. You can't stop me. After the bodies of the orcs fill the land, the leader busts down the door of the keep. Filthy human, I will peel the flesh off your bone. Alright, come at me, my friend. That must be the general behind these two. I'm gonna take you out, because you do the most damage, I think. Let's see. Burn in hell. The last words of the commander before he collapsed. You've won a victory over Castle Fallen. The remaining orcs will still attack, but without their leader, they will not have the manpower to remain at the keep. They will soon disperse to leave in failure. After scavenging the bodies, you take your earnings. That's a lot of money, but I might die. Because I'm pretty low on health, I should probably save the game. So this is definitely one of the coolest uh, War Ashes encounters. This is the second time I think we've had it. But, uh... Wait, that looks like the leader, another leader. Ah. Okay, one more to kill, one more to kill. We have to save here. We will have killed this whole army. Definitely a little bit OP here, but... Ow. One more hit. No! Alright, let's reload. Um, things are taking a while here. Oh, game must have uh, glitched out there or something, I guess. Oh, the game, the game's, the game is definitely glitching out because I can't see what's going on. Yeah, I, I'm moving around and I'm hearing something happen, but uh, I have no control over it. So we'll have to restart the game. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I just reloaded the the game, and it seems to be uh, working now, but I'm having to run away from this guy because I'm so low on health that I'm afraid he's just going to one-shot me with his spell. So we're going to see if we can run over here and uh, rest a little bit and then go back over to him. And some enemies just popped up. We should really be using weak heal to... Uh, To get our restoration up. Oh my gosh. Alright. You know what? We're gonna kill this, this orc. Or not. I think we do less damage on top of a horse, honestly. We have so much loot to, to collect here. Let's see if we can get some of it. Okay. So. Okay, right. We have to annoyingly. Whoa. Adamantium. Okay. We have to transfer everything into the wagon one thing at a time, which is really irritating. Let's see, inventory, wagon, just like that. And that's making its way over, so we're going to have to deal with that soon. Adamantium Greaves, well that's certainly going to be a bit of the Dwarven Greaves, love it, put those on. Move all of this, put it into the wagon. Remove all of this, put it into the wagon. Alright, time to deal with you. Been a thorn in my side for too long. You as well. And you. And you. And you too. You're actually kind of tough. Alright, alright, alright. Now time to loot everything. Throw this all into the wagon. And grab some of this, put it into the wagon too. The ingredients, the symbol. 
And I think I saw, actually I hear, and I saw earlier, uh, a, another Sky Shard at this castle. So I'm not, I don't know if that's just pure luck, or if the Sky Shards spawn near the places you go, but we're definitely going to go click on that. Throw this all into the wagon, put the ingredients in. Uh, that goes in the wagon. Okay, we've looted everything, almost everything here. Well, actually not exactly. We have a, whole, a lot more to loot, everyone. Stand by. We have a lot of gold now, too, from defeating the, uh, the captain there, meaning that we don't have much room in our inventory. Ivory. Pure ivory. I like it. Ivory is an ingredient, apparently, not just a miscellaneous item. Take all of that. Take all of that. We're going to be even more rich. It's okay. We can train our skills, do various things. I'm just going to spam all my mana. Almost done. Just a little bit more here. And last body. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we successfully defeated that very well defended keep. So I'm sure there's an important quest item in here for us to get. So let's go and do that. There's a lot of different doors to enter. I think they all enter into the same interior. So let's just save right out here. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. Because I know there is the Sky Shard. Let's grab it before I forget. Then there'll only be one more left to find in Sentinel. Boom. One more to find, and we'll get Endurance up, and one more to find in Sentinel. Now let's head into this dungeon and see if this small dungeons thing works for this. I think it should be. I think this dungeon's random. It's not like a, a main quest dungeon, I think. So the small dungeons enhancement should work. Let's rest, get our mana back up. We're going to set a recall spell here. Um, I guess rest again. We're going to save the game. And Oh wait, actually no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to put on our lantern, or our torch, because we want to get rid of a torch. And now we'll save the game and we'll be ready to explore. This is clearly not a, well, it could be an orc dungeon, but I'm not seeing orcs. Which, it was defended by orcs, so uh, you'd expect it to be filled with orcs, but no. So what are we looking for in this dungeon again? Maybe it says in our log. I'm supposed to seek out Castle Fallen. Okay, so it doesn't specify exactly what we're looking for here, but... There should be something, an item, someone to talk to, information, somewhere in this castle. Okay. Werebor. We gotta be careful not to get infected with lycanthropy. I think if we do, we can still get a cure before the time runs out. Uh, and we become a werebor, which we don't want to do. Even though that is very cool, I'm sure. Uh, it's not what we're looking to do on this particular playthrough. Um, for now, let's hop over before we go down another layer. Let's just explore the first floor if we can. Got some bones on the ground. Some loot. We'll take all of that. Uh, oops, I did not mean to use the spell. Uh, I meant to be using the heat of spell. Some more loot. A lot of money there. Let's make sure that... Okay, good. I just want to make sure that that would bring us back to the entrance. We're going to throw everything in our wagon, and then we'll keep going. We just had some of this, and then a shirt. Gonna save the game again. Which way did we go last time? 
uh, we went this way, but there was still some stuff we didn't we didn't check out. So we'll go this way again. Um, I don't remember which way we didn't go though. Uh, we didn't go to the left and through here unless there's nothing at the end. Okay, there's nothing at the end. Got it. We went up these stairs, and that's where we were last, right? Oh yeah, we hopped over this. Oh, a layer just brings us back down to where we already are anyway, so that's good to know. We were going through here. Um, right? Oh, this is sort of a dead end here. Okay. Well, in that case, where have we not gone off yet? Um, I think maybe we've actually found everything in this upper layer, so let's drop down. Unless we missed something around one of these corners right down here to the end. Oh, I think we didn't go all the way this, this direction. Yeah, we didn't go all the way this direction. Okay. Big old stick. And down these stairs. So I guess I might as well talk about the other mod I installed, um, since I don't think we're going to actually get to see it this episode. Um, which is Trees of Daggerfall. It's a graphics mod that makes just some amazing looking trees pop up. Um, the 3D trees rather than like the 2D you know, sprite trees normally in the game. Uh, and it's just really, really good looking. Um, it's, a, it's a great graphics mod, I, and currently they only have the, like, the Temperate Woodlands set, I believe it's, it is the set they have. So since we're in Sentinel and we have like desert trees, we're obviously not going to find Temperate Woodland trees. So that's the reason we, we I imagine we won't see it uh, in this particular episode. That being said, whenever we go back to Daggerfall, we'll be excited to showcase this or that one. So just keep mashing this open. So I guess we'll only have explored. Ready to open, lock is too powerful. Right, that makes sense. I'm going to equip my other sword for mashing this. Or, you know what, can I get this on? I don't want to destroy my die katana. So yeah, we will have showcased the roleplay and realism mod. And... The smaller dungeons mod, which I think is, I mean, I think it's worked. I, I don't know if this is a smaller dungeon, but it should be if we've installed the mod successfully. And this is a, uh, you pick up a death certificate. Well, that seems like a quest item. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's see. Letter. 23rd of Morningstar, Castle Fallum. So this, this must be a, oh my god, this is long. This must be the quest item. Um, it's actually this episode's actually gone on for pretty long so i think what i may do is pause everything now and then next episode we'll actually read the letter figure out what's going on in the main quest or in, for this particular quest and we'll finish we'll, we'll wrap it up uh and then maybe check out the trees of daggerfall mod if we have a reason to go back to daggerfall i don't know we'll see um this has been quite an eventful episode so Thank you, everyone, for watching once again. Thank you to the, the person and the people that re recommended that I check out some of these um, mods. Um, and we'll talk more next time.